Hello beautiful people, Losing Drea here and today I'm bringing to you a craft video. And what this is, is basically, I believe that 2013 is not only a year to uh, get lean and um, clean and all that other good stuff, but I think it's a year to be organized. And what I've been doing here is I don't really throw out anything and we do use the recyclable service that we have here. But um, I had some cans and I needed places to put some like little trinkets and stuff that, that I happen to have had. So, you know, I just, you know, maybe it's some nail polish or a place to put lipsticks or, you know, something to put your scissors in, what have you. Um, I have several of these that I'm making because I'm really trying to organize my craft space. So, like, we're... I need to see everything, because when it's out and about, I will make use of it. When I don't see it, I tend to either forget that I have it and not use it, and go out and buy more of it, or um, I just don't use it, and then I try to improvise, and I waste a lot of time. So I have a lot of unfinished objects around. But what I decided to do was to take um, one of these cans. This is from, like, something you might get uh, at Walmart. This is the Great Value brand petite diced tomatoes. I made cabbage soup tonight in my crock pot and so I have two of these cans. I already covered one of them as you can see here in this video. Or in the shot in the video. I'm sorry. It's kind of late. <laughs> but this is one of them. And basically all I do is I got this pack of napkins at at Michael's. Sorry, I'm trying to do double duty here. So I got this pack of, of napkins at Michael's. There's 15 pieces in here. And they're, they're called facial tissues. And they're actually a three-ply facial tissue. And what you do is try to find a corner that you can open it up. Now sometimes like it'll be overfolded on the edges and overlapping and you'll be able to just grab it. And there's actually two plies of just like regular tissue and one ply which is the actual print. And you could do all kinds of stuff with this. You could make beads and, and stick the stuff to the beads or uh, cover things, or whatever you want, basically. But I'm just going to try to show you. See, there's one ply, two ply, and then the image, okay? So there's actually three. And it just pulls away quite easily once you get a hold of it. You do want to be careful not to rip it. And once you have your sheet, you just put it aside, and then you want to take your can. In this case, I'm going to leave this paper on here. Normally, I would take it off. On this one, I took it off, and it does uh, adhere better to the can um, as far as, like, a nice, tight, even uh, adherence. However, the I find that the labels on these are stuck so well that all I did right here was I just peeled off a little bit that was overlapping. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that where it's overlapping. But all I do is I Spread a little glue. I know it looks like a lot of glue. Um, I have a little paintbrush, and I just basically start to spread the glue around. Now, the only thing I find out is by leaving the paper on the can is that this glue is it tends to dry a little faster maybe than it would if it was just the metal on the can. But um, before it runs all down the sides, oops, sorry, came out of view. Um, I just kind of spread it all around. I try to give it a nice, even coat. And on this particular can, I covered it all the way to the very, very edge. So I'm making sure that this edge is coated with glue. Um, if you notice on the edge of this can, it's black. I took paint and I painted it black. And on, I did some tuna cans. That's f this particular can is from like the uh, Chunk Chicken. 
and um, here you can see where it's kind of overlapping. But this is from the Chunk Chicken. It's kind of a wide, very deep can. And then I have some smaller ones that came from tuna fish. Um, and they were cat food. So those are like little tuna cans anyways, those little cat food cans. They pretty much hold the same amount of um, stuff in them. And so anyways, I, I just spread the glue all over the can. And I'm going to take the neater edge of this napkin and I want to line it up to the top. I'm just going to, if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just lining it up along the top and I'm going to follow that around. Now I don't want to cover the top edge because I want that to make that, and it's okay if you got glue on it, it's not going to hurt nothing. And I'm trying to get this in the camera because I only have so much room in which to work here. But I basically just go around the can. You can work with it just a little bit. You don't want to rip it. You just want to motivate it a little bit and maneuver it and press down. And if you if you it, do this while the paper is still um, you know not too wet. Because when you do Mod Podge, you know, you'll, you'll get the feeling of, for this, and you'll know what I'm talking about. But anywhere where you didn't get glue, you want to go back in, cover, and make sure that you seal it flat. And then I always go over it with the, the wet paintbrush. And I try to work out all the wrinkles. Now, don't worry if you do what I just did. Sometimes as you're you're maneuvering it, um, you'll get these little holes in it and whatnot because it gets a little too wet. That's okay. It's very easy to go back over it with like a little piece of um, tissue paper. And you don't want that little white ridge that you can see on there. And you can tear it with your hand and all I do is I just make sure I get a little bit of glue on my paintbrush and just go right over the top of it and you can't even see that see that and just flatten it down and look I didn't even cover the hole <laughs> but I think you get the picture a little late here, and um, it's dark in here, but I'm trying my best to show you. Here, let's do this again. Let's see. There we go. Let's get a little glue on here. Just a little. Don't need much. Just kind of got to get it wet, and you can tap it on there, or ever get get it on there, just get it on there. And this is an easy craft project that you can do with your kids, for yourself, maybe you have some nice little canisters um, for putting stuff in in your kitchen, but they don't quite match your kitchen. You can use um, fabric as well as paper, but I believe paper probably works better fabric you're going to want to soak it a little bit more with the glue to give it a little better adherence. Um, however, paper to me, uh, this works great. Um, I absolutely love this leopard print. And basically you just want to work it around. And I would kind of let this dry and then go over the top of it. Now as you can see it's, it's like lifting up here on the side. My light is making it hard to see. Sorry about the glare. But anyways, just kind of go get, you can see that, just get in there and then flatten it down. Very easy, very forgiving. Again, don't worry if you make a little hole. Uh, you can always go back and fix that. Even if you don't meet all the way at the top of the rim up here, uh, where you want to, you can always go back in later and fix that. Now, I would let this dry, but uh, after you do, you take a little bit of a scissor. It's very easy. I'm going to see if I can do this where you can see it. It's very easy to just cut at the very edge 
of the can so that I'm basically not only am I keeping it in straight line all the way around but I'm basically uh, leaving my paper pretty pretty straight for for my next piece because I still have a piece here that I need to fill in so then what I want to do is again lay my glue down and then do my paper and I kind of line it up and I see where I'm going to lay it and I know that I'm going to have an edge but I'm also going to have a piece left so you can layer this and make it to where you need so that you get full coverage over everything and so again it's just very easy it, it can be messy it can be as messy as you want to be it can be as clean as you want to be it all depends on you and what you do you can take your finger and you can rub all this in um, I don't like gloppiness I try to spread it as evenly as possible because I tend to find that uh, the more even that I've spread out the glue and the less puddling in places there is that you won't have the little holes that can be created like I showed you um, I actually did that hole with the edge metal part of the paintbrush however um, you can avoid that a lot easier and again you just line it up and I'm overlapping this just a tad you don't have to overlap it as much as I'm overlapping it but I'm overlapping it just to make sure I get good coverage and even if my paintbrush is a little like dried out not dried out but it, it, it ran out of it doesn't have a lot of glue I'll still use it to help flatten down and manipulate my napkin covering the areas that I want to cover I don't know if you can see that but the brush is softer than my fingertip and it's a lot easier to just work the napkin down getting out the wrinkles and then like over here on the edge I don't know if you can see that lip it's like the groove in the can and I'm basically just working out those wrinkles flattening it down you can always go back over it later add more glue up oh, see I pushed a little too hard but that's okay like I said we can fix that okay we can always you can either with your finger or with a piece of a scissor just cut a piece off if you want to lay a little bit more glue down you can I'm just going to pat it because of course I don't want to make a bigger mess than I already had and it, I just pick that piece of paper up on the brush because it's wet and I just lay it down flatten it out and coat it if you've ever done Mod Podge like I said it's very forgiving very easy to do and you can Mod Podge just about anything um, plates of course not plates you want to eat off of but decorative plates that you want to maybe hang up on a wall for a nice kitchen decor um, or just about anything pretty much and again I'm just going to show you one more time as I cut around you can see it and I'm just cutting around the outside of the can and you know you can play with it a little bit and glue your little edges down so you don't have any little things peeking up and you can push it down with your fingers this glue is just regular uh, Elmer's school glue is all I'm using and again it's a recycled can and I love recycling and upcycling uh, anything where I don't have to help to fill up a garbage can and you know for me it's like my way of helping not to fill the landfills with all this unnecessary stuff that just you can't burn it so 
pretty much that's it. You can choose to paint the inside of the can if you want to go through the hassle of doing that. I kind of like the inside of this can. It's gold, so it matches with the outside of the can. And what I'll do after is um, I'll just take some of this uh, apple barrel acrylic black plaid paint, and I'll just shake it up. And when I do, there'll be enough in the cap to pretty much go around the outside edge of the can and uh, paint that edge all the way around. And it's really simple to do. I use the same brush that I use for the glue. I just tap it on. It's okay if you get a little bit um, on the uh, outside. Is Once it dries, it kind of blends right in because it's a flat matte black color. And um, I've even taken like a little spot like that rather than go and just dab that. And again, it looks kind of... Um, bad at the moment because it, it it's dark um, but if you want you could even take a, a paper towel it's very forgiving as long as you get it before it dries and you can just wipe it off and see you don't even notice didn't even notice it and if it's a little too much you can wipe it again and you know this is why I say let it dry you know, or you could just, you know, you think you messed up, just put another piece over the top of it. So, pretty much that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And if you're a crafter, I want you to create from your imagination or just imagine what you can create and then make it. This is Creative Babe, signing out. Have a wonderful evening. And I hope you like this video. If you do, please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. Share it with your friends. And if you make something, I'd love to see it in a video reply or on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash tinycrafts. Bye, guys.